Hi YouTube, it's Adama from Lilith Astrology and thank you for watching my Sun in Sign series where I talk about what it means when the Sun, what you guys know your zodiac sign as, is in a certain sign. So I didn't even practice for this one because I am a Scorpio. So I'm just going to speak from the heart because that's, I just feel like I just need to because there's no practicing with this. Um, so, Scorpio, eighth sign of the zodiac. Um, so, Scorpio ruling the eighth house. Um, so, the eighth house is right after Libra, which rules relationships and partnerships. And the eighth house is when you get into the transformation that happens um, when two people come together. So, <laughs> okay, I didn't mean it in that way, but... Um, it mean so it is it is the house of sex, death, and taxes. I mean it's things that you can't avoid. It's the natural changes in life that can either be painful or enjoyable or um, you know pleasurable. It's uh, it's all of those things. So when someone close to you dies, like the pain and the ending of that, that's Scorpio. I hate to be you know morbid. Um, I mean change the just like the say you you go to work one day and you find out you got a promotion and got and you're getting a raise and a bonus and all these changes are happening to you suddenly that's scorpio um when you get married and you have that contract with somebody else um to love them for the rest of the life and you know till death to us part that's scorpio so imagine like walking around with that type of energy on a daily basis, y'all. Like it's a lot, um, but that's Scorpio, you know. Um, where to begin? Where to begin? <laughs> so I mean, I'll, I could just speak. I'll speak about the symbolism and I'll speak about my experience um, as in my life as a Scorpio, like Scorpio. So the Scorpion is the symbol of Scorpio and essentially um, you know if you see a little Scorpio Scorpios are very small I've never seen one in real life thank God because they're extremely frightening to me I hate I hate bugs um, but if you see a Scorpio and you, you don't know the capability of its of the power of it it looks harmless it's like a little you know creepy crawly bug that's crawling along and not gonna mess with you don't be fooled because there's a little stinger that could either maim you. Um, I don't know. Some of them don't kill completely, but some of them do. <laughs> so it's literally like the sign Scorpio. And Scorpio is one of the only signs that has different levels and different symbols as well. There are a total of, I think there's seven symbols. Um, and the... The lower vibration is the scorpion, but then when you get to the higher vibration of being a scorpion, when you evolve and become a higher, you know, evolution of the sign, it's the eagle. Um, the phoenix is another symbol. That's death, transformation. The, the phoenix burning up and then turning to ashes and then regenerating itself as something, you know, completely beautiful and amazing. Um, that is, that's like the to the T perfect description of a scorpion so person. Scorpio is um, ruled by the planet Pluto and also Mars um, which shares with Aries that I um, explained in the previous video. Pluto is Hades, the death of the underworld. Um, so essentially wherever Pluto is in the birth chart that is a, a area of your life that you will be going through a lot of transformations, both painful and pleasurable in your life. Um, it's it's a very karmic and heavy house. It's a very karmic and heavy part of your life. Um, so that's Scorpio's planet. And then you also have Mars, which rules, uh, you know, it's like aggress aggression, aggression um, war, um, you know, I, I mean, leadership, um, that's, the, you know, the army, um, uh, just 
everything that you would think about fiery. So you have this fiery planet and then you have this cold, dark, <laughs> desolate planet, dwarf planet, may I add, um, all the way out in space. Like, And I think actually Pluto like dips lower than the rest of the other planets as well. So it's literally in Hades. Um, but you know, the thing is, is, is being a Scorpio, it's, it's, a, it, it's an intense thing, I think. Um, you're carrying around all of that energy all the time. Um, and, you know, I, an astrologer of, of, you know, someone I know said to me, you know, you meet a Scorpio. Everyone that meet, has a Scorpio in life or meets a Scorpio was meant to meet them because there was something in their life that needed to be transformed and changed. That's a lot. You know, that's, that's just like a lot. Um, but it's a beautiful thing. Like when you think about it in life, like transformation and death is a beautiful thing. Um, and I would say Scorpio is the most, um, psychic out of all the signs. Um, our antenna, <laughs> I would say for picking up on a room, similar to, I would say the other water signs are, um, are psychic as well. Um, similar to Cancer and Pisces, like when you come in a room, you can just feel, and Scorpios will feel their way through a room. They don't, you know, the difference between our co-ruler Aries, like I mentioned in an earlier video, is we feel strategy. We feel our way through it, and it's like an underlying current. It's not like, boom, okay, go, 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 go. It's like, let me suss out this situation for about 20 minutes and just sit here like, I found myself sometimes in rooms doing that, like sitting there and just observing and being quiet. And then you you kind of jump in and, and talk to people and, and, you know, open up. But Scorpios ha have a period where they're observing and they observe patterns and, and things. So they're very strategic people. And when a Scorpio speaks, they don't just speak for no reason. A lot of Scorpios don't like small talk. Like we don't like, how's the weather today? Um, you know, how was your weekend? I mean, th those aren't terrible topics if they're like to the point and then like there's something like interesting about it. Like we won't talk. It's just very hard for Scorpios, but also depends on Mercury, which I will also be doing a Mercury series coming soon. Um, it, it just depends on the Scorpio, but I say you're a Scorpio sun and you have a Scorpio Mercury, which I actually have a Scorpio Mercury, <laughs> like... Small talk, it, it'll, it just, you'll be like, there's other things in life, you know? There's deeper things in life. So they're always digging and deep, it, digging for deep things and just intense people um, want to get down to the bottom of something. Um, for instance, oh man, who is a famous Scorpio? Hillary Clinton, she's a famous Scorpio. Um, Anna Wintour, another famous Scorpio. Um, Winona Ryder. Another famous Scorpio. She's all she's played like in like Beetlejuice and you know these like Heather's and like some of these like very like you know oh Beetlejuice very like creepy like Halloween mainstay um, just some underlying like creep factor to it. Um, that's that's you know Scorpio. Scorpios love like scary movies and um, you know talking about things that people don't want to talk about because that's just their energy. They, re they really do gravitate towards, um, you know, esoteric and spiritual conversations. And that also is part of the eighth house is, um, you know, witchcraft and, um, you know, s s psychic ability, which also is a 12th. But um, th those are very, it's a very karmic house. Um, so, you know, be nice to your Scorpio friend. <laughs> <laughs> They're going through a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm kidding. It's it's great being a Scorpio because also like a lot of Scorpios develop and, and it's kind of like they're like wine. Like, speaking of, they're like wine. Um, they get better with time. So um, definitely a great sign to be. Um, you know, it's funny. Whenever I tell somebody, mine is astrologers. Astrologers don't get they're like, oh, wow, and they just want to talk to you about being a Scorpio. But every, people, other people, like, they'll just be like, oh, you're a Scorpio? 
And I'm and like, you know what? I've gotten to the point where I'm like, you know what? Fuck yeah, I am a Scorpio. You know? There's a reason why I guess you you, you were supposed to meet me, <laughs> apparently, because it's uh, so, so transformational and Pluto ruling our uh, our sign. So that was Scorpio, a sign near and dear to my heart because I am one. Um, if you are a Scorpio, hit like. Um, if you know a Scorpio and love a Scorpio or hate a Scorpio, comment below. If you are a Scorpio, comment with your experience being a Scorpio. I would love to hear it. I love that. Um, and subscribe and also follow me at Lilith Astrology on Instagram.